Hello everyone, my name is Isa, and I want to show you our game for the mobile development class at USC. It's called Ungar Ready Fence. To explain our game, let's start with the tutorial. In a nutshell, the game is a competitive two-player fencing game. The game is controlled using an 8-way analog stick. It can be moved horizontally for character movement and vertically to change the stance. The stances are based on a rock-paper-scissors system. Red beats green, green beats blue, and blue beats red upon contact. This is an oversimplified version of the strategies in fencing in real life, uh, such as uh, direct attacking, counter attacks, parries, and feints. Each player has an energy bar, and the goal of each match is to fill this bar and unleash an ultimate attack that defeats the enemy. This energy can be obtained either from an energy light in each level or from beating your opponent. The light mechanics change between levels and so does the power-ups. We'll see them in action later. Now that we understood the rules, Let's see the game in action. Upon selecting a level, you get to select a character. Each character has unique stats, some are ori speed oriented, others are attack oriented, and some are balanced. After selecting the characters, the game starts. I'm God. Ready. Fence. In this level, there are no energy sources. There is no energy light. All the energy you get is from beating or defeating your opponent. As you can see, upon filling the energy, the special attack is unleashed and the player wins the round. Each player has to win two rounds to beat the game. Player one wins. I'm God. Ready. Here's a look at how the game looks in action, when people are playing it on an actual device, I mean. The use of a single device makes the game more pickup friendly, so you don't need to worry about networking and such issues. Now let's take a look at another level that has the light mechanic that's more prominent in the rest of the game. I'm God. Ready. Fence. As you can see, when the players enter the light, they gain energy. This changes the strategy behind the game because this light is the main source for the energy. As you can see after a few moments or seconds, a power up appears. You can get the power up by moving all the way to the edge of the level. A box of a certain color will appear, you have to choose the stance of the same color. This happened too quickly, but he got a magnet power up that attracts the light to him, and thus won the, won the round.
we can see the magnet more clearly here. There are two other power-ups. This is ju this just happened coincidentally two times in a row. The other power-ups include uh, invincibility and uh, equal energy that splits the energy between both players equally. Invincibility, of course, lets you lead, lets you beat your opponent regardless of what stance you are you are using. Other levels have different life mechanics. We can see one of them now. In this level, you have two lights. Good light, the, the yellow light, and bad light, the blue light, or the inverted light. The bad light takes away your energy. Thus, you should try to avoid it. This changes things a bit because when you get the magnet, for example, you, the, the bad light might hurt you, so it makes the power up more risky. Take a look at another level with another different mechanic. Anga. Anga. Ready. Fence. In this level, your energy depletes automatically whenever you leave the lights. Of course, this changes the changes the strategy since you can't stay away from the light for too long or all your progress is gone. In the end, I'd like to thank my teammates who developed this game, Bindi, Ku, Yuchon, and Zuhan. Special thanks goes to our instructors, Scott Easley and Jerry Lynch.